guys, welcome to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Divine. I'm a musical fan, minominak, drummer, and a keyboardist. I have been for many, many years. I started making these videos as a space for music lovers like myself to check out our favorite artists and break down some of our findings that make them so, so fantastic. Make sure you follow us on Instagram at the Perseverance Reaction in order to recommend the favorite singers for us to react to. What's up, YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling good. Today, guys, we're back here on the new video, guys. Today, we're going to be reacting to why white people like country music. Sheen girls. You ready? Up next. Let's give it a try, guys. You know how to do it. To talk less, we react more. Let's get into today's video. I know. I just moved to New York this year. And uh, yeah, it's all right. New York's all right. It's nice. I, I like it more than I thought I would. But uh, I just, just found out I was fat. Just th I'm 31. I just this year found out that I was a fat guy. I'm from a white trash enough town that this was killing it. <laughs> People back home see me, they're like, what's your fucking secret? I'm like, oh, I'm just hanging out, man. <laughs> it's mostly hang out. <laughs> and then, I don't know, I moved, uh, I moved to Philly first. I lived in Philly for like two years. Yeah, gay birds. And then... Uh, but it was funny because I moved like from a white trash town to Philly like right during the presidential election. <laughs> you, you pussies. Uh, no, but it was funny because like that was a big jump. I went from like an all white trash town to then to the city where now all my new friends were like real woke, and that was like because if like if this was my hometown, someone could just walk in here in full camouflage and sit down, and you'd be like, that's a fucking good outfit. Are you, are you trying to get pussy in here tonight, dude? Come on, man. You're going full camo at Clusterfest, all right? Like, everybody I grew up with listens to country music. And I don't, but I get it. Like, I understand why white people like it. You know? Like, you can relate to it. You can understand all the lyrics. You don't need to Google what a nene is. It's not, I don't know if you know this. Every country song's just about exactly what a white guy's doing at that moment. It's like, I turn the radio up. It's like, yeah, fuck yeah. That's good. That's music. That's what I like. I get it. You can relate to it. I ride around. I listen to rap. That's all I listen to. I can't relate to one fucking song. I just ride around by myself, bob my head, just like, I beat the pussy up. Just like, oh, huh. I, like I don't know if I beat it up. Like, I'm like, I'll shadow box the pussy. I've never... <laughs> I've never knocked it out. Everyone's knocking out pussy. These, I've never knocked it out. <laughs> Not, I'm more like Floyd Mayweather with a pussy. Very technical. Ah. <laughs> very defensive. <laughs> I love That's this guy. I, to. I just ride around and listen to people brag about how good they are at sex. I don't think I've ever made a girl make a sound with my dick. <laughs> Except like when I lay on them at first and they're like... <laughs> <laughs> That's it, just, oh, Jesus, mister. <laughs> yeah, good. So that's where I'm from. And then I moved to the city. And here, let me lose you again real quick. Uh, it was right during the presidential election. And uh, it was funny because all my friends went from, like, white trash to, like I said, woke. And they were all, like... They're all like, did you guys all vote Democrat? Did anybody here vote? <laughs> do, you guys, do you guys remember how like, confident you guys were? <laughs> going into that last one? Uh, you remember that? Like, a little borderline arrogant going into that. All right, don't let it cost you again. <laughs> no, I relax, relax. I did not vote for him. Fuck yeah. <laughs> no, I, act I actually did not vote for him, which that was tough. Look at me. His whole campaign was at me. I was watching TV. He was like, are you a fucking fat idiot? I was like, yeah, dude. Yeah, what are we doing? What the fuck are we doing, dude? We're building walls? Hell yeah. <laughs> I took skull out of my mouth to come up here. And I didn't vote for Donald Trump. Makes me like the Nelson Mandela of central Pennsylvania. <laughs> I don't know. 
You guys are all right. I want you guys to know, though, I do have black friends. <laughs> no, it's nice having black friends when the rest of your friends are just fucking goofy white guys. Okay. It's nice. You get some outside perspective, some advice. You just got to be careful with the advice you take from your black friends when it comes to, like, sex. When you look like Uncle Buck, it doesn't <clears throat> translate. Like, this is the advice my friend gave me when I went on a date with this chick. He was like, hey, yo, Shane, you don't want to go too deep in the pussy. She's always going to want the dick. I think I've heard this before. I was like, you're, you're worried about depth? Like, depth is a I didn't even know they had depth. I'm just happy to be there. You're worried about, like, depth is an issue? He was like, you don't want to give her the whole dick. I'm like, that's all I have. What are you talking about? I've never been like halfway in and been like, oh, oh. You gotta earn the rest of this. Dick. It's insane. Depth? That's crazy. I'm worried about like the noises I'm making. Like I just I just sound like like a shitty ghost the whole time. Just like, oh, oh. It's almost done. Oh. Depth. Or my face? You ever worry about your face when you're fucking? Don't do it. Don't, don't think about how dumb you look. You'll end up looking like a fucking psycho trying to look handsome the whole just. <laughs> it's not good. It's worse for me if I let it go. Like if I just let my face go during sex. Like I, I look like Brandon Dassey from Making a Murderer the whole just. girls down there she's like did you do it I'm like I don't know <laughs> yeah okay this was hilarious but the same I was expecting more about the country song I don't know who wrote this title but why is it full of country song because I was expecting more of the jokes to be centered around the country song so why they really love it I know he explained because it has many and you can't try to relate to it well, I was spending, spending more of the joke around bees around there. But hearing his, he just said a few words about it. Then he went to different things about sex and stuff like that. And also about country politics. So I was spending more about the joke about country song itself. Um, the entire joke was hilarious. I think I've heard a couple of them before. I shared the aspects um, about the sex aspects. How deep you don't have to put all in. <laughs> that is all I got. That was really, really hilarious. I love this. I love the music. I enjoyed myself listening to him. He's a really funny man. Sting is like he's really funny. His gestures, he's being real. That is something about him that is unique from many other comedians. He's being real and he tells you as it is. And you're definitely going to laugh. I enjoy this comedy every time. His sense of humor, his gestures, he's, he's him. <laughs> you, get the, the, you can't replace him. It's different. Well, aside the title of the... the the video itself, and because it's spits more about the why, why, why white people love country music a lot, because it's really a curious topic to check out. Comment below what you think about this video, give us a thumbs up, share this video as many as you can, subscribe to the channel, guys, and how to do it. We'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay safe. I just want a bag, like an old lady. I'm back, wood smoking, I don't own papers, pass that 808. That don't, don't shake her. Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater. Baby, mama bugging, I'm so quick to hit ignore.